Madam Soipan Tuya. Karibu waziri. Asante sana mheshimiwa waziri na nitaanza kwa kukupongeza kwa kazi nzuri ambayo umefanya siku ya leo kwa wizara yako ya kuzindua fidia kwa wale waadhiriwa wa human wildlife conflict na pia kwa kuzindua mundo mpya wa kuweza kufanya hiyo fidia itimi, itimike kwa haraka la pili ni ule mpangilio wa kuweka ua katika misitu ya Lariak uh, pamoja na Marmanet. Uh, Your Excellency uh, kwa mpangilio wa Mheshimiwa Mutua eh, kuweka ua anaona kwa upande wa pro- preventing human wildlife conflict. Kwa upande wa mazingira that fencing also guarantees the protection of our forests. Kwa mwelekeo wako mheshimiwa rais tuna mpangilio wa kukumbana ama kupambana na janga ama majanga yanayotokana na climate change ama ile crisis ya climate change. Na moja yazo is to ensure restoration of our degraded ecosystems. Na ningependa kusema siku ya leo sababu ya a lot of heightened uh, instances or cases of human wildlife conflict inatokana kwa sababu za climate change kwa sababu tunapoharibu mazingira yetu misitu tunaharibu ile natural habitat ya wanyama na tumeona some instances where elephants get out go to people's homesteads hata kujaribu kunywa maji kutoka kwa water tanks in homesteads na ni kwa sababu tumeharibu mazingira yao ile natural alaya ambaye Mungu aliwatengenezea ningeteka kuasihi wananchi tuungane pamoja katika ule mwito wa mheshimiwa rais ya kuhakikisha tunapunguza ama tunaangamiza kabisa zile illegalities ambazo ziko kwa misitu yetu tuko na rangers wa kutosha wakati huu kwa sababu tulifanya employment last year na mheshimiwa rais i'm happy to report that the many cases of illegalities within our forests have gone down because of that the other reason is because we are very keen on ensuring a good relationship between the Kenya Forest Service and the communities and on that note is just to say that we are keen and we are in discussion with my brother Mutua to ensure that we have a very holistic view of conservation. When we talk about conservation, it must be people centric. If we talk about conservation bila kuangazia mambo ya livelihoods ya wananchi, we will not succeed. It will not be sustainable. Na ni kuwasihi pia washikadau wetu private sector, our development partners, let us put our efforts together to make sure that our conservation efforts hata ile ya upanzi wa miti isiwe ni kupanda miti pekee but it has to have an angle of poverty reduction and responding to the food security needs of the people responding to the water scarcity needs of the people and that way it becomes sustainable mheshimiwa rais katika mpangilio wetu wa 15 billion we have set targets for everybody for Laikipia county for example our tree cover stands at 11.2% our forest cover stands at 9.8% and with calculations on the available spaces for conservation and tree growing from wetlands to forests to urban green spaces we have set a target for 370 million trees to be grown by within this county in the next 10 years and it requires a very collaborative effort Siku ya leo uh, waziri ameweka ua katika pale Lariak. We will step in in collaboration with KWS, Kenya Forest Service, the National Government Administration to ensure the highly degraded Lariak. We plant enough trees and we have the technology of doing aerial seeding 
na using drones in partnership with various partners who have expressed interest to make sure that as we deal with the human wildlife conflict, the streams of water within Lariak Forest will begin to flow once again. And once that happens, we don't even have to invest a lot of money again doing dams and boreholes because our rivers will flow again when we conserve our forests. Kwa hayo machache, nitawachia hapo nikia wasihi wanainchi to pandemiti na kila mmoja wetu akiweza kupanda hata kwa kiwango cha chini kabisa upande miti 30 kwa mwaka mzima na tuko wa Kenya karibu milioni ya msini, tutakuwa tumetimiza ile lengo ya 15 billion trees na tutapunguza janga la ukame tutapunguza mambo ya mafuriko na tuweze kuhakikisha kuna chakula cha kutosha Na kwa sababu sasa tumeweka mipangilio, hatutataka watu kuingia kwa misitu tena. Hata ile grazing, kwa sababu wengine wanaingia kufanya grazing, instead of grazing, wanaenda kufanya uhalifu mwingine. Wengine wanasema ni mambo ya pelis, lakini wanaingia pale na tractors. Itabidi tushirikiane na washika dau, at we can no longer depend on our forests at the current rates of 70% for wood fuel. And Your Excellency, you know that with our clean cooking strategy, which we recently passed in Parliament, we are going, I mean, passed in Cabinet, and it will go through Parliament at some point, Your Excellency, we must distract the focus on our forests for biomass, which now stands at over 70%. Because if we continue with that, then we will be engaging in a zero-sum game. Now, kwa mpangilio ule wa carbon markets, Clean cooking technologies, we are going to embrace them ili tupatia wanainji njia mbadala ya wood, ya fuel at the domestic level to reduce the pressure on our forests. Asante sana na pongezi tena mwishmua mutua. Asante sana na hapo jana tumepanda miti elfu kumi pale Lariak kwa hivo mpango wakazi unaendelea. I want now to invite uh, the deangu, uh, Rebecca Miano Waziri wa Biashara Karibu Asante sana Your Excellency the President Kama Waziri wawekezaji biashara na viwanda nimefurahi sana leo kwa sababu muradi huu wa kuwalipa walioadhiriwa na wanyamapori utainua biashara eneo hili na pia Kenya kwa jumla Hapa laikipia kuna julikana sana kwa utalii, ukulima, na greenhouse farming, na ranching. Na kwa hivyo 